So today we're doing a follow-up video. Three years ago, we compared the sleep tracking between the Apple Watch and the Fitbit. Um, Fitbit tracked all the four stages of sleep um, throughout the night. It was kind of a nice little thing to check just to know where your sleep was going. In recent years, the Apple Health app does this now. And, um, you know, it's just nice. In the past, you had to use a separate app, and now it's all built in. So um, not only that, the good thing about the Apple Watch, it tracks your um, heart rate and respiratory at night. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is selling my Fitbit and um, using my older Apple Watch um, um, at night. And then while I'm using that only for night, this is going to charge at night. So I'm just going to... And it's nice. It, Apple lets you sync the two still. There's no issues like that. One thing to note, um, I mean, I love the Fitbit. It's great for minimalists. Um, the one thing I really want to see on the Apple Watch, not going to lie, is if you go to the alarm over here, there's a smart wake. So it basically detects when you're um, a little more awake throughout, throughout your sleep cycles and it tries to wake you up. Uh, I know there's apps that try to do this, but it's just nice to have it on the watch. So it'd be kind of nice to have the built into the Apple Watch. Uh, time will tell, but still, this is um, a lot of great things happening, but uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> about to say goodbye to this guy.